The first recorded reference to platinum can be traced back to medieval Italy. An academic called Julius Scalinger was credited with discovering the element while visiting Latin America in 1557. The indigenous population referred to it as little silver and saw no use for it and saw it as a nuisance because it interrupted the mining of silver and gold. Platinum is a silver-gray colored metal, which like all solid metals is malleable it can be formed into sheets and ductile it can be drawn into wires. It demonstrates these properties so well that it can be hammered into a layer less than 100 atoms thick, which is thinner than aluminium foil, and still not lose its properties. It has a density of almost 22 grams per cm3, making it the third densest metal in the periodic table. History of platinum Platinum in a malleable form was not built until the late 18th century. A French scientist called P.F. Charbonneau heated platinum pebbles and formed the liquid metal into a chalice which was presented to the Pope. At the turn of the 19th century an English chemist called William Wallaston discovered the elements palladium and rhodium, which are both found in platinum ores. In 1803, another English chemist called Smithson Tennant found the elements iridium and osmium. In 1844, the last of six elements in what subsequently came to be known as the platinum group metals PGMs was determined. This element was ruthenium. The first platinum jewelry was produced at the turn of the 20th century. And it was about this time that the industry woke up the potential of not just platinum but the other five metals in the group. For instance, palladium was used in the contact points for the relaying of telephone communications. By the Second World War, Platinum was an important of the alloys used to make the spark plugs in aircraft. It is perhaps as an essential component of catalytic converters that platinum came into its own. Catalytic converters all over the world. Car and vehicle emission standards are becoming ever more stringent. There is an interesting correlation between these standards and the demands for platinum. Over the last decades, there has been a surge in demand for platinum and a core driver of this demand is the catalytic converter. European legislation now dictates that all new cars must be fitted with these devices. They serve to clean up the stream of hot exhaust gases in particular they remove nitrous oxides and carbon monoxide. Left to its own devices carbon monoxide will eventually convert to carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide to carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas. A catalytic converter uses a mesh of platinum which accelerates the rate at which the conversion happens. The precise reaction pathways for both conversions were established in 2007. These methods can only be used with unleaded petrol and as with all cleaning mechanisms need active and regular maintenance. Platinum has a history and range of uses which underpin its importance and is a definite example of an element that we just cannot do without.